area of a triangle with three sides of length 4 centimeters, which is drawn right here. Now, if you remember, if all the sides are congruent, all of the angles are also congruent. So if we take 180 degrees, which is the sum of all the interior angles in a triangle, and divide it by 3, we find out that each angle has 60 degrees on it. Now, to find the area of a triangle, we know that it's one half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. So for us, that would be one half. Our base is four, but we're struggling to find the height because it would be this line right here and in a an equilateral triangle if we draw a line down the middle what it does is it cuts our triangle into two congruent right triangles so here's a picture of our two congruent right triangles when we cut this right down the middle we get a right angle and it cuts this bottom half into two pieces now, this is still 60, and this is still 60 degrees, but we've cut this top angle into two 30 degree angles, because we cut it right in half. Now, if you'll remember from your special right triangles, um, this side is always the short side times the square root of 3. But in case you don't remember that, this is our height, and we can just find it with the Pythagorean theorem. So h squared plus 2 squared. So notice we're only looking at this triangle right here, just the one side. This and this. So that's the triangle we're looking at to find this H that we need. So we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. So that's A squared, which for us is H, plus B squared, which for us is 2, equals C squared, which for us is 4. So that means we have that H squared plus 4 equals 16. If we subtract 4 from both sides, we find out that h squared is 12, and then take the square root and find out that h equals 2 radical 3. And so that's all we need now to finish out our area. We'll put 2 times the square root of 3 here, because that's our height. And then if your teacher wants it exact, this is going to be 4 times the square root of 3, because notice our 2's cancel, and all that's left is 4 times the square root of 3, and that's going to be centimeters squared. Um, if your teacher would like an approximation instead, this is going to be 0 0.5 times 4 times 2 times the square root of 3. And that equals approximately 6.9282 square centimeters. So one of these is your answer, depending on if your teacher wants it exact or wants an approximation.